हेलो डार्लिंग फ्रेंड्स इन लाइनिज्म अ वेरी हैप्पी इवनिंग टू यू आई एम नरेन एंड आई एम फीलिंग सो प्राउड एंड प्रिविलेज टू बी विथ ऑल ऑफ यू बिफोर वी गोइंग टू द एक्चुअल टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट लवली इंट्रोडक्शन इट वॉज वेरी स्वीट वेरी हार्ट वार्मिंग एंड इट मेक्स मी फील वन अमंग यू एंड वाई वुडंट आई फील वन अमंग यू I remember when we were staying in Calcutta my father was a member of the Park Street chapter of Lions Club International and I have some very fond memories of going to get togethers and having some yummy yummy food during those times times today are very difficult covid 19 has thrown the whole world in a very different kind of a scenario whether somebody is rich or poor somebody is educated or uneducated somebody has a big industry or a small dukan every human being has been affected by covid 19 almost everybody alive would say the biggest challenge of current times has been covid 19 covid 19 has thrown all of us in adversity but then my belief is adversity is what creates leaders how do leaders look at adversity leaders look at adversity with a sense of tremendous opportunity an opportunity to mold the present into something which is magnificent in the future uh by the way let me ask all of you uh how many of you enjoy wearing t-shirts raise of hands how many of you enjoy wearing t-shirts have you heard of this company which is called life is good no you may not have heard about it it's a company based in us it is run by two brothers who were the youngest among six children and the name of this brother was bert and john let me give you a beautiful story from the life of the founders of life is good t-shirt company you should know that this is a company which has a turnover of about 750 million us dollars which means today this company is one of the biggest manufacturers of t-shirts in the whole world and where did it all begin when these brothers were still in lower school one day their parents met with a very big accident very big accident in that accident fortunately the mother survived unscathed without any hurt or harm but the father he got paralysis and he lost the use of his right arm completely the atmosphere in the house became very tense now the mother not only has to earn to run the family with six children she also has to take care of the medical requirements of her husband and her husband because of intense medicine and lot of physiotherapy became very irritated and cranky in the presence of the husband often the atmosphere will be very ugly and very frustrating in the evening when mother would come back home the children are kind of ready to complain the mother would say give me 10 minutes i'll put something on the table for us to eat and then in the table she will ask one single question to every child every day and the question was tell me what was good about the day now the children will be ready to complain actually you know ma i would listen to everything but first tell me what was good about the day the children who were willing to move into a victim mentality where they were just about ready to speak about you know what bad happened to me today you know who pushed me today you know what was mine was not given to me today you know papa shouted at me today you know the teacher was so unreasonable you know the homework is too much you know the teacher does not teach properly the children were ready to complain 
and the mother asked this question tell me what good happened today what was good about the day tell me about the good that happened in your life today this kind of questions all focusing on what was good today the children were too young they didn't understand but they found themselves suddenly not focusing on what is not going okay in life but focusing on this is going okay in life and they would say things like you know man today that boy came he had such a fancy haircut all of us had a great laughter and then somebody would say you know man today i wanted to eat food and uh, i completed eating my food i was still hungry and my friend told me hey yaar my mom has given me some things extra if you don't mind can you eat it if i go home with the food back mom will be very upset and i ate the food i was hungry but i was eating food as if i am doing a favor to him oh i had such a good time and he kept on saying thank you thank you thank you to me and on the table they will be filled with laughter the jacob brother say it was times of adversity it was difficult times and in those adverse times my mother taught us not to focus on what is wrong and drain energy but she taught us that optimism is always a courageous choice which can be made by you and me irrespective of the circumstances what a brilliant insight what a brilliant insight if i have to tell you the exact sentence which is written in their book called life is good the sentence goes like this she showed us that optimism is a courageous choice you can make every day especially in the face of adversity now to me that is leadership to be optimistic is a courageous choice that we can make every day especially when we are facing adversity exceptional outstanding who are those people who bounce out from adversity fast people who have the ability to be optimistic so how do leaders face adversities those of you who have a pen and paper those of you who like language those of you who like to understand concepts and use them in your life every now and then here i am giving you one word take this word and keep this word the word is called brew factor mystic what did i say brew factor mystic those of you who are very comfortable with google here is my appeal to you <laughs> use your phones go to google and ask google what is the meaning of this word brew factor mystic come on come on go ahead i know you have your phones obviously you are watching this program either on your phone or your laptop why don't you take 30 seconds and find out what is the meaning of the word brew factor mystic ah i am waiting i am very patiently waiting go ahead go ahead brew factor to mystic namila ah you won't find it you know why you won't find it because the word does not exist i have just coined this word a few days ago ah i was a little naughty forgive me for that but what is brew factor mystic what does it mean the word the part of the word brew is for brutal the fact word stands for fact and mystic is the optimistic part of the word so brew facto mystic are three words brutal facts and yet optimistic you know in that book life is good the jacob brothers write life is not easy life is not perfect life is good life is not easy imagine those children and these brothers are not even 10 years old they come back home from school father is there bad mood screaming shouting blaming irritated frustration 
लाइफ इज नॉट गुड बींग एट होम सिक्स ऑफ देम मदर इज नॉट देर शील कम लेट इन द इवनिंग एंड इन दैट इन्वायरमेंट द फादर हैज अगली मूड्स लाइफ इज नॉट ईजी बट ऑन द डाइनिंग टेबल शेयरिंग अबाउट वट इज गुड अबाउट द डे लाइफ इज गुड आई मीन आई आई लव इट लाइफ इज नॉट परफेक्ट लाइफ इज नॉट ईजी लाइफ इज गुड एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी ब्रू फैक्ट मिस्टेक ब्रूटल फैक्ट लाइफ इज नॉट परफेक्ट लाइफ इज नॉट ईजी दीज आर ब्रूटल फैक्ट बट इन द फेस ऑफ दीज ब्रूटल फैक्ट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बिकम नेगेटिव I am not going to give up. I am not going to become sad. I am not going to think, "Oh my God, nothing is going to happen." I am not going to feel like a victim. My mind will first become peaceful. I will become optimistic, and now I will see. Let me see what can I do. These words by her, their mother: "Life is not perfect. Life is not easy. Life is good." is what made these brothers create this company called life is good ink and they just make t-shirts and what is printed on those t-shirts is some positive message about life making everybody believe i understand the struggle you are going through i understand the chaos you are facing i understand the tsunamis that are there in your life but in spite of all of that life is good this is what leaders do in adversity they have the ability to take the negatives from the atmosphere convert it as a catalyst into positives and give it back to everybody around them leaders can transmute and transfer the nature of energy from negativity to positivity especially when there is an adversity all around Have you heard of this guy called Yashasvi Jaiswal? He is one of my heroes in the year two zero two zero. Who is Yashasvi Jaiswal? Listen to his story, and as I tell the story, you will say, "Correct, I have heard about him. I have heard about him. I have heard about him." Here are the stories about Yashasvi Jaiswal for all of you. Born in UP, at the age of ten. his father tells him i can't feed you any more yashasvi jaiswal is very interested in cricket plays cricket with a lot of intensity and passion his dream is to become a cricketer for india and father says but i can't even feed you forget about buying gear for cricket ek kaam kar we are in up uh you go anywhere you want to and start feeding for yourself fend for yourself and the 10 year old boy comes to bombay ready to do whatever work it takes and to nurture and pursue his dreams of cricket he worked in a dairy shop initially and then started selling pani puris He made friendship with the few people in the cricket ground and would sleep in the cricket grounds in the night so that he is close to the ground where he can go and practice. He was often exploited at workplace. Obviously what else do you expect a 10 12 year old boy to go through? And older children would often beat him up because he refused to gamble, to drink, to smoke and to be sarcastic and pull other people down whatever little time he had he would go to the ground help the groundsmen and whenever possible play and practice cricket to cut a long story short in the last ipl elections he was bought for 2 and a half crores by rajasthan royals in the world cup under 19 cricket tournament which was held he was chosen and in the semi finals he scored 105 not out against pakistan he single handedly won that match for india 
He was the highest scorer of runs from all the Indian batsmen in World Cup 2020 and that is for you Yashasvi Jaiswal. He defeated not only Pakistan but he also defeated destiny. And in an interview when he's asked, how did you go through the tough times? He said, I knew the brutal fact of my life is, I don't have money in the bank. I don't have a godfather. I don't have money to buy kits. The brutal fact of life is, I am from a very, very poor family. And if I can earn enough to just feed myself, my parents will be very, very happy with me. These are the brutal facts of life. Nobody cared about my dreams. Brutal facts of life. But I remained optimistic. I grabbed every opportunity which came across my path. I was ready to get beaten up by the fellow where I worked to sell Pani Puris. I was ready to get beaten up by the elder boys who are much more bigger and powerful than me. These are all brutal facts. But I remained optimistic because I knew what is in my control is to work very, very hard. And he rewards. And I got picked up for the Indian cricket team. And I got picked up for Rajasthan Royals. Two and a half crores. We have never seen that kind of a money in our entire life. We haven't seen 1% of that money together. We haven't seen 2.5 lakhs together. How did I make it happen? Because whatever happened, A, I was optimistic and B, I kept on working hard like nobody's business. Another live example of what brew factor mystic is all about. My darling friends, now let me share with you something incredible. One of the biggest and the best governed rules in our country was supposed to be from the Vijayanagar Empire. The ruins of Hampi are a testimony to what Vijayanagar Empire was all about. Under Krishna Dev Rai, it spread to the east, to the west, to the north and the south. There was culture, there was music, there was wealth, there was agriculture, there was trade. Everything was there in the Vijayanagaram Empire. Now, if you ever go to see the stupas of the Vijayanagar Empire, you will find at the entry, when the stupa is made, there are three animals. And to me, these three animals represent how a leader must face adversities. What are the three animals? Animal number one is tiger. Tiger representing courage. Tiger representing, don't give up. Tiger representing whatever be the issue in front of you, whatever is the complication in your life, believe you can solve it, be courageous and go for it. Be courageous and go for your dreams. That's what tiger represents. The second animal over there is the horse. Horse signifying what? Horse signifying speed. Whatever you need to do, do at the right speed. Speed does not mean faster than the whole world. Speed means the right direction and the right momentum. When I am running a marathon, the right speed for me can be 7 kilometers per hour. When I am running a 1 kilometer race, my right speed can be 10 kilometers per hour. So whatever is the right speed, I should go at that. If I can do X, I should not be happy with X by 2. Speed. Leaders ensure the speed is always there in their ideas, 
in their implementations, in their discussion, in their development, in their delegation. So first animal, tiger, represents courage. The second animal, horse, represents speed. The third animal, elephant, stands for stability. Be mentally stable. Be emotionally stable. Don't get carried away by praises. Don't get carried away by criticism. Whatever happens, stay peaceful, stay cool, stay stable. Vijayanagaram Empire believed, if I can have these three qualities with me, I am ready to rule the world. And to me, these three qualities are very beautifully, very, very beautifully showing how is it that I should face life, especially in adversities. Like a tiger, be courageous. Go for your dreams. Like a horse, be fast. Don't be lazy, don't postpone. Be focused and be fast. And like an elephant, be stable. Let criticism not make you nervous. And let praise not get you overexcited. Stay stable. My dear friends, as I move towards the end of my speech, let me share with you some things which are very, very deep-rooted feelings for me. Adversity separates the men from boys. Adversity separates leaders from followers. Adversity separates the champions from those who pretend. What always keeps me going in the worst of times is, we are all in the same storm, but we are all not in the same boat. We are all in the same storm. COVID-19, the nation, uncertainty, lockdown, business is not happening. We are all in the same storm. But the boat in which we travel, that boat depends on the mindset that we have. In these times, I know a few people who have made crores of rupees by being fast in their business. My brother who stays in Chennai has a friend who imported 1 lakh thermal temperature measurement instruments. He imported them at a landing cost of 700 rupees in India. 1 lakh pieces. Invested about 7 crores. And in 3 days time, he sold it at 2000 rupees sitting out of Chennai. 1300 rupees per piece. Investment of 7 crores, profit of 13 crores and this entire transaction over in one month's time. Courage to invest 7 crores. Speed before anybody else does it. Stability, not being afraid of what may go wrong, not getting too excited and ordering for 10 lakh pieces. And he's made enough money probably for the rest of his life. We are in the same storm, same world where many people are not able to make a single rupee. But here is a gentleman who's just made 13 crores for himself. We are in the same storm, but we are not in the same boat. This is what I mean when I say in times of crisis, in times of adversity, a leader's mind is still looking at opportunity. And at any given point of time in your life, there are enough opportunities around you if you dare and care to think. If you have the tiger, the horse and the elephant with you, within you, in every crisis you will see an opportunity. I love the statement made by Winston Churchill. Do not waste a crisis. Extraordinary statement. Do not waste 
a crisis. What can be smarter and deeper than this statement? Do not waste a crisis. In a crisis, there are extraordinary opportunities. Leaders face the worst of times in their life. Excited about the possibilities which exist in that part of time. Last 25 years for India was not great. We are good. They are still suffering. We have a lot of issues. Lot of labor problems. Look at the migrant situation in our country. Not a healthy sign. Not a good sign at all. One day rain. There is still water clogging in Bombay, in Pune. Not a great sign. Last 25 years, we have made progress. But I believe the next 25 years in the whole world will belong to India. For the first time in the world, not only will we be the IT back office of the world, we are also creating world-class products for the whole world. Zoho Software from India is a classic example. We have Indians leading the biggest of companies in the world like Google and Microsoft. You don't find too many Chinese being employed as chairman or vice chairman of MDs of great American companies. Which means the whole world is now accepting India's intellectual power, India's IT power, India's manufacturing power. Apple has started creating phones in India. Which means the opportunity for India and thanks to whatever has happened in, in China during these COVID times, the opportunity in the next 25 years is mind-blowing. For the first time I see around Indians believing that they can be the best in the whole world. They don't have doubts. We are no more influenced by a Gori Chamadiwala. We are excited about ourselves. Some of you might be lovers of Harry Potter like I am. And in Harry Potter movies, Dumbledore, the mentor, the chief wizard, would look at Harry Potter and say, It is your choices in life which defines you, not the skills and not the resources that you have. When Harry Potter would get scared and think about the adversities in front of him, the challenges in front of him, the power of the black forces in front of him, Dumbledore would look at him and say, It is your choices which defines your life, not your skills and not your resources. What an extraordinary statement to make. In adversity, leaders believe that they still have the power to make extraordinary choices for themselves, for the future. 25 years ago, in the Wall Street Journal front page, there was a news. And what was this news saying? The front page news was, India is more interesting than important. Mani Sabarwal, who had gone to study MBA there, who is the founder and chairman of a company called Team Lease, which employs lakhs of people today, read that piece of news and said, my country deserves better. He didn't stay, though he had many offers in US, came to India and said, I am going to create something which is bigger than the biggest company in the whole world. And in the last few years, he created Team Lease, which occupies, I think, about which employs, I think, about 6 lakh people, which staffs every year for different corporates, more than 14-15 lakh people, which means directly and indirectly they give employment to 20 lakh people. And there is no company in the world which does this. He says, what drives me in life is, that statement, India is interesting. Kya kya karte it's very interesting, but it is not important. 
in adversity leaders don't want to become a joke and they don't want to be just somebody who's interesting who's passing knowledge and news and tales and stories leaders do something by which they become very very important remember the statement india is interesting and it is not important i believe in adversity leaders find that there actually a 10 horsepower engine which was running at only 2 horsepowers i believe each one of you present over here every individual member in lion is a 10 horsepower engine running on 2 horsepowers you don't need to expand the horsepower that you are you already are powerful you have the power within you all you need to do is ensure the two horsepower on which you are operating becomes 3 4 6 8 and maybe 10 adversity is gives you the opportunity to move from 2 to 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 10 the times right now are the challenging of course they are is it good for us in the short term in 2 3 months no they are not good in the long term oh you can do something miraculous by which you can change your complete life my name is naren and i run three organizations one is called life school where we do individual coaching on life and on business in these covid 19 times we shifted our entire work online and let's say on a normal month if my turnover is 10 lakhs in these 3 months my turnover has been 45 lakhs i don't have to travel so early if i have to do a training program and it's a half day training program and if i have to do that in bombay at least one full day will go if not one and a half days now the program is at 10 9:55 i switch my computer on complete it till 1 o'clock and i'm ready for the next program at 2 o'clock do that program till 5 o'clock 7 to 9 there is another possibility of a program in these 3 months from march 15th till let's say june 10th i would have done not less than 75 webinars in times of adversity two horsepower has become four we have this movement called keep moving movement and some of you might have heard about it it is the biggest grassroots level movement in education in the whole country more than 700 volunteers go to 250 schools and train children in life skills last year we impacted 30000 children directly and 10000 to a very special program that we did this time our goal is to impact a minimum of 1 lakh children minimum of 1 lakh children if anyone listening to me is the owner of a school or who's on the boarding of a school or who's a part of the governing board of a school please note this url my kmm keep moving movement kmm mykmm.org go and see the work that we do we would love to work with you and this is a complete free of cost work imagine 1 lakh children's mindset getting trained across seven sessions at the end of which they should believe whatever happens in my life nothing can stop me that's why it's called keep moving movement whatever happens nothing should stop you you should keep moving till last year 40000 children this year minimum 1 lakh two and a half times growth thanks to covid 19 the third thing that i do is called wow parenting and i'm sure some of you would be a part of that community of wow parenting normally in a month in our website there will be about 5 to 7000 people who will come When the lockdown was announced on 23rd of March 
we decided parents will be at home let's grab this opportunity and do something fantastic we immediately created a microsite created a campaign we ran the campaign 6th 7th 8th and 9th of april was a four day one hour each day summit you know how many people registered for that program 67522 people from 120 countries across the globe normal month 5000 people covid 19 67522 for a single program plus the other traffic we grew more than 10x and this happened within 15 days of the national lockdown happening we are poised to become the biggest parenting community in our country the best parenting app in our country adversity gives you the opportunity to move from 2 hp to what your actual potential is my darling friends why am i sharing about me and about my work just to share with friends that there are three things that i do and in everything we have grown not by 10% 20% by 200% 1000% and this is what is possible so when i say lions are 10 hp 10 hp engines working at 2 hp adversity shakes us up and makes us work at higher potential and if lions as a community come together and decide to increase the bar raise the performance lift their life live with bru factor mystic create an impact in your work in your home in lionism in the society that is exactly what we need for india not to remain interesting but for india to become very important in the scheme of things this country needs you your business needs you your family needs you and they need you to be proof optimistic and perform at 10 hp if possible you are all lions you are supposed to rule there was a circus and the circus had about 10 lions covid 19 times nobody will come next one month does not look anybody will come next one year looks very difficult the circus owner decided to close down the circus he took all the 10 lions and he released them in a jungle in 10 days time news came nine out of those 10 lions has been killed by the dogs in the jungle lions were hunted down by dogs lions forgot that they are lions lions became vulnerable didn't know how to take care of themselves i wish every lion member present over here remembers that you are a lion you are meant to rule you are meant to perform at your peak you are meant to change not only your destiny but the destiny of the whole country wake up to your potential live by being bru factor mystic and make yourself very proud of who you are in this journey if i can help you in any way do reach out to me or through my dear friend raj mochal reach out to me and i will surely assist you guide you mentor you coach you to ensure that you to live your life at your peak wish you all the best once again thank you for this invitation and love you so much